Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a corroded battery compartment. This is my trusty flashlight and with many toys or flashlights or things that hold batteries, occasionally you leave a battery in there too long and the battery explodes or it just starts to corrode with the acid and you'll see like this white chalk light substance leaking all over the inside of the battery compartment. And what this does is it destroys the, contract, the contacts or it doesn't destroy them, it covers them up so the batteries don't make a good contact and power whatever it is you're trying to power. So I'm going to show you how to remove this safely today. First thing you're going to need is some sort of a tool to put the miracle of baking soda on there. We're going to take some baking soda, put it in a little container, a little bit of water. I'm going to use this toothbrush before we throw it out. Uh, it's, it's one of our uh, cleaning toothbrushes. But we'll put the uh, baking soda on that and then rub it in there. It'll fit inside this battery uh, case. Uh, sometimes you might have to resort to something smaller. I use a Q-tip a lot for those spring contacts that, uh, down inside of a toy. Q-tip works really good for that. So all you do is take regular everyday baking soda, pour it in there, a little bit of water, a little bit quiet, that's allowed. I'm doing this by the sink. I just put a little water on there. I'm going to make like a paste. And then I'm just going to push it in there. And with soft bristles, rub it up and down on that corrosion. If you get a little bit on your fingers, don't freak out. Just rinse it off. I'm going to add a little bit more water, make a little more paste, and get in there. And the baking soda neutralizes that acid and the bristles saturated with that baking soda agitate the corrosion right off of there. So this is looking pretty good. I can see way down at the bottom. I'm sure you can't. But I can see way down at the bottom. I'm getting a little bit of goop on there, which is okay. Because I want that goop, as I said, all the way down there. Last thing I'm going to do on this one and it's safe to do with most toys. I'm just going to rinse it out with water. Go over a little bit, I'll show you. Getting a little water in there actually helps get the rest of the baking soda over the entire surface. And now we're going to simply let this dry for probably a day or at least overnight. Let it air dry. And that should get rid of all the corrosion. And tomorrow, or next time you see me, it'll be in the morning and I'll put the batteries in it and we'll have a light. So that's a real simple, real cheap way to fix almost anything that a battery explodes and breaks. Good morning, everybody. It's a moment of truth. I let this dry in the kitchen strainer upside down overnight so all that water would drip out and the rest would evaporate. And I'm going to put some new batteries in here. And this thing was dead with brand new batteries just last night. Tighten it up and here we go. We have light. So there you go. For about a penny's worth of baking soda, uh, use an old toothbrush or an old toothpick and, and a couple minutes of work and you can revive what was once a useless flashlight or a useless toy destroyed of battery corrosion into a perfectly usable implement again. If you like my videos, hit subscribe. There's good stuff coming on every day. And as always, thanks for watching.